A bunker built near the Sino-Russian border by the Japanese military during World War II is believed to have been the site of the last battle of the war. The Huto Bunker, as it is known, can be found on the left side of the Usuri River, which runs along the border between China and Russia. The bunker was the site of a battle between Japanese and Soviet forces that ended on August 26, 1945, 11 days after Japan had surrendered. This is Huto Fortress. It's an important border military fortress which was built by the Japanese army for the long occupation in China and also to secretly attack the Soviet Union. The underground military facilities in the Huto Fortress were in large scale and with complex structure. Now, let's go inside to have a look. The 30-kilometer-long bunker is one of 17 bunkers that were built along China's borders by the Japanese army during the war. Facilities inside the massive bunker include a command post, ammunition depot, food storage units, a barrack, a hospital, and a kitchen. The bunker's retaining walls are as thick as 3 meters in some spots, allowing the structure to withstand heavy artillery bombardment. The bunker could hold nearly 12,000 personnel while it was in use. The Soviet Army's assault on the bunker began on August 9, 1945. Japanese soldiers stationed at the bunker heard of Japan's surrender on the radio on August 15, but refused to believe that their country could have surrendered. On the wall, we could still clearly see the bullet holes, and we could also imagine the fierce battle between the Soviet Union and the Japanese Army. On August 26, the final day of the battle, the Soviets concentrated 30 artillery units and more than 1,000 soldiers on the bunker. The battle claimed the lives of 1,387 Japanese soldiers and over 1,000 Soviet soldiers. Construction on the bunker began in 1934 but was not finished until 1945. The Japanese army used 200,000 Chinese workers to build the bunker. Most were killed after primary construction was complete. When the major part of the bunker was complete, Chinese workers were given wine and food. While they were distracted by their meal, the soldiers opened the fire. 